guys, we are back in Escape Games Long Island today again, and we are officially going to try one of their games called Battle of the Throne. Let's go! Escape the Rumors, Brandon here. We are in the building of Escape Games Long Island in Ronkonkoma, Long Island. And I'm with Andrew. Andrew, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. So Andrew's the owner, and uh, we're going to get into five key questions right now to learn more about Escape Games Long Island because we just tried their game, The Battle for the Throne. So, Andrew, first key question for you is when did the company Escape Games Long Island open? Uh, well, it really opened uh, back in 2016. Okay. Um, we were one of the first uh, game rooms on that actual island here. So, wow. Yeah, we've been around for uh, three and a half years now. So, uh, yeah. And I'm assuming, well, I'm not assuming I actually know the answer to this, but you have more than just this one location. Right. So we have a location down in Brookhaven. Um, and also we have the one in Ronkonkoma. That's the newest one. That's the newest one. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, our second key question for you is how many games do we have available right now at each location? Okay, so yeah, we have uh, the two games out at Brookhaven. Now uh, we have the two games at this location and then uh, we have five games at the other location which is about five minutes from oh, here. Oh, very cool. We actually also played their other game at this location. I'm trying to remember the name is something. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Legends of the Hidden Temple. And that was also incredible. And we came with uh, some help and we were able to power through and get out of that room as well as this one. So our third key question for you is the creativity behind a game like this one, the Battle for the Throne. How does that all start? What is your process? Well, uh, I think really one of the most important things uh, with escape rooms is that people uh, work together as a team and, and enjoy themselves. So um, there's a lot of thought going on behind the scenes of, well, let's come up with a puzzle, which is great, and let's come up with something sort of unique about that puzzle, and then let's put that in a, you know, in a, in a series of puzzles that people won't only just enjoy, but they'll also um, have to work as a team together. So there's a lot of there's a lot of thinking about it, a lot of uh, sort of coming up with different ideas. We could try this, we could try that. Um, trying to find out what technology is available right, to, right. to see how that could be incorporated into the into the games. And then, yeah, once that's happened, uh, I got a couple of really really good. Uh, I would call them game designers, but uh, they 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 do game mastering, but they also come up with all these different concepts, ideas, and so they were heavily involved with. Um, the building of this room, uh, right, the concepts, right. and, and uh, yeah. And yeah, I actually, I think it's very important when you incorporate the uh, people at your location because they know it so well. Right. Uh, they play games themselves. They yeah. kind of know what the user is looking for, or the player is looking for in their experience. Right. And I think it's great that you take their advice or you have a lot of that Im implemented into your game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our next key question for you is, how do you do your bookings? Are they public, private, option? for private yeah so um, we do both public and private um, now each game room has a different maximum amount of people uh, at our other location with the five rooms they have uh, less people per uh, room available okay so it's uh, very easy to get uh, public games and private games uh, of course 
you know, we do all sorts of different events. So if, uh, you know, if you just give us a call, then we can organize whatever it needs to be, if they want the whole building or just one game. Right. Um, yeah, we do, we really will work with everyone to make sure they have a, a good time. Okay, cool. And I know you do a lot of events, like birthday parties and yeah, stuff Yeah, like we that. try and do, you know, corporate events, uh, team building, it's always a big one to try and, uh, um, people, when they work together, they don't spend as much time having fun together, so we, we really try and encourage that. But yeah, we do a lot of birthday. Uh, we just did a baby reveal last week. Ah, this well. is the second time we heard of a baby reveal. Yeah, it, it worked out really time. well. It worked out really well. Okay. Um, so yeah, and we did a proposal as well this nice, year. So, nice, uh, Yeah, we, we do all sorts of things because it's, it's always fun to do something and then have something awesome again at the end. Right, the right. World. And you it's lose yourself scary. while you're in that that's game it. and all of a sudden it's like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, oh yeah, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's what, what I was here, here for. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and our last question for you is to get to know Andrew a little bit better. What's something most people wouldn't know about you? It could be like a special talent, a hidden hobby, something is non-escape room related. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, um, you may have heard I have an Australian accent, so I really? <laughs> I lived in Australia for um, for most of my life. I just came here a few years ago, um, but I used to surf all the time. Ah. Uh, I used to live on the beach, and uh, there's not much surfer around, but there is actually some really good surf beaches on Long Island as well. Yeah, so, I think you got to hit at the right season. Yeah, they're actually in the last uh, couple of months has been extremely good surf. I haven't been able to get out too much, but. Okay. Um, yeah, that's something. What part of Australia? Uh, Sydney. I oh, lived in Sydney. We love Sydney. It's a, it's a we've been to city. Sydney and we've been to Melbourne. Yeah, and... Melbourne's my favorite city, but Sydney's also a good city. Yeah, it's just it's expensive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure they got is. some good escape rooms over there too. Though. They do. Yeah. Which leads me to my next bonus question, or my last question, which is a bonus. Uh -huh. um, you play escape rooms. Yep. What was one that was memorable for you? It doesn't have to be your favorite. It could be one here, it could be one somewhere else, just one that stood out for you. Yeah, uh, I remember doing a room that um, actually, uh, we went through a whole maze, which we could find our way out pretty easily, and we went into another room, which then turned, um, and then we went into another two rooms. It, it was huge, it was massive. Wait, it? I think we've heard of this before where the room actually turns, yeah. like it revolves and then it and leads, then it you, leads out you out into somewhere else. Is that in the US? That's in the US. It is in the US. I can't really say where it was from because they, they asked me. What to oh, okay, yeah. But um, it was it was extremely memorable and even after we did all that there was still another room on top of that. As wow, well. so this is a 60 minute room? It was a 60 minute room. We did not get out, um, but it was <laughs> It was a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Was and how long ago was that? Um, that was a while ago. Probably six months ago now. Yeah. Okay, we gotta try to do some research and find out because this is the second time we're hearing of something okay. similar. Well, thank you so much for having us, yeah. Andrew. Uh, we fun. love coming to Escape Games Long Island and Ronkonkoma. And you gotta check out our website for our review on the two games that we played. The first one, which was... Legends of the Hidden Temple. And the one we just played, which is the Battle for the Throne. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can check out a sneak preview of what you can expect when you step inside the Battle for the Throne. And you'll know what to expect when you get to Escape Games Long Island. Take it easy. Bye.